welcome back everyone it's easy hope everyone's weekend's going real well uh, if you check out this a little banner right here kind of odd thing the, the CC lore anchor and kill um, for those of you that are new to clash that have just downloaded and are watching the series uh, what this is this is an important part of the of the game that pertains to the beginning of your raids um, you, you'll notice that the clan castle has troops in it a lot of times you know that you can load clan castle troops in your clan castle that can help defend your base so what you want to do is you want to have a system in place to help pull the clan castle troops out which we call the lore you want to anchor down and an anchor means that you'll pull the clan castle troops out and you'll pull them away from the rest of the defenses to an area on the base where you can you have control you're no longer uh, in the defense's mercy and then um, once you anchor them down away from the defenses you want to kill the clan castle troops and there's a number of different ways we can do this uh, this first example was a war attack from sable this is a town hall 9 attack versus a town hall 10 we had already tried to attack the 10 and it had given us a really hard time so we decided okay we're going to pull these clan castle troops out no matter what and as you can see here the trigger zone it, the trigger zone around the clan castle is that white circle that you can see up there on the screen um, we thought that okay we can send troops into this trigger zone and we'll be able to get it no problem was not the case so what we actually had to do was use uh, the zap quick spell combination and we took out that air defense and I know a lot of people are thinking wow that is a lot to dedicate towards a clan castle pull uh, you, you're dedicating a couple of troops you're dedicating uh, two or two an earthquake and two lightning spells that's too much but to, to get a clan castle pull on a town hall 10 and to eliminate those troops is such a big advantage and especially when you're using specific att attacks that are that have a lot of defense only troops in it like i have a lot of balloons in this attack those balloons won't defend themselves so one dragon can literally wipe out the entire attack which is what it did in the first attack so i wanted to use this as, as an example because it is, um, it is better to use a, a bunch of troops. It's better to, to, to dedicate 25 housing space of troops, 30 housing space of troops, even spells if you have to, to get the clan castle troops out, to anchor them down somewhere away from the defenses and to kill them. And that way you can start off fresh and you can get into the base without having to worry about what's going to happen in the middle of the attack. Now, if you notice what happened in this attack, as soon as the, the heroes crossed over the, into, into that uh, clan castle pull zone, well, out come some balloons. And that's a great example of how they loaded up ground-only troops, which were the balloons. They only attacked things on the ground. And then they had an air and ground troop, which was the, the dragon. So what happened was we pulled the clan castle troop out with a balloon. And the, the balloons that they had in the clan castle, they stayed put because there was nothing for them to attack. So they had troops coming out of the clan castle at several different points of the attack which is a really good thing as a defender so that's something for you to keep in mind as you're loading up your clan castle it's it, it may be better for you to load your clan castle with several smaller troops that may come out at different times because there is an equation that's used to pull out the clan castle troops uh, I don't know I don't know if anyone knows what the exact equation is except for supercell programmers themselves but I know it has to do with the housing space, how many housing space of troops that you put into the into this trigger zone and how long they stay in. So if you put a one housing space troop like an archer into the trigger zone and they have a 35 space housing space uh, clan castle with six or seven different small troops, you're not going to pull all 35 troops out. You'll get a smaller number out because you have a one housing space troop yourself. So we'll get back to that in a minute. Now in this attack here, we, we when we... Um, when we clicked on the clan castle, we saw okay. It's a really simple pull We know that we could put one hog rider in the hog rider would jump over that uh, Trigger zone for the clan castle. It had a 20 housing space um, Clan castle so and it was in the lower part of, of, of their clan So we, we assumed and we were right that it had a dragon in it now Let me tell you what the disadvantage for having dragons in the clan castle. It's a 20 housing space troop So anything will pull it out because there's not, it can't just pull out five housing space of troops because it's got 20, that's it. So one archer would have pulled that dragon out. Now, dragons, are, they are strong troops. There, there are plenty of advantages for using them. But there are, there are better things than the dragon now. Uh, so while you're building your clan castle troops for war, think about all the options. Think about using uh, maybe your witch or using uh, your baby dragons. 
You think about using different troops and different combinations of troops to try to force the troops out at different times because that's the best way to defend. Now, we're getting into the next attack and I think both of these uh, clan castle lures, uh, lure and a pull is the same thing. That just means to send in a troop uh, to, to try to get the clan castle troops out of their clan castle. Now, this is the second time this base was attacked and we had noticed that they had some um, skeletons on the corner. We wanted to pull those skeletons up too. So while you're doing your pull, if you know that there's uh, giant bombs in the corner of a base, or you know that there's skeletons you want to take care of, if, if you know that there's something that that one hog or those two hogs that you send in can help take care of, do that too. That you can take care of multiple objectives with one troop, and that's a great place to do it. Is on the pull. So we pulled we, we pulled out the troops with one tr with one troop with one hog rider. We anchored them down in the corner, and again, the anchor means that you're going to put a troop down away from the rest of the defenses, and as soon as the clan castle troop comes out and kills that hog or the defenses kill that hog it, it is going to go to the next troop that was put into the game which in this case was the archer and it's going to go after that archer and, until the archer is dead so that that's an advantage for you because now you can put in other troops and the dragon's forced to go over there to the archer and you put down a couple poison spells um for for people that are just starting out if you have poison Use the, use the poison spells, get used to using them. They slow down the clan castle troops. They let you control that situation a little better. Um, also, you wanna have some, when it, when it comes to the, the kill, on, on the clan castle kill, you don't wanna just put a poison in and then put a bunch of troops in and hope that they overpower the clan castle troops. You, what you wanna do is you wanna put down some kind of decoy. Uh, whether you put down a witch and it spawns skeletons and the skeletons run out in front of the witch and the clan castle troops get distracted on the skeletons and you put in uh, your queen or, or wizards or whatever to take care of the clan castle troops or you put in a big golem that has 4,000 or 5,000 hit points and you and um, you wait for the dragon to turn its back on you puffing on the, on the golem and then you put a bunch of wizards in then that's a lot better than just going toe to toe even though it might be, it might be in a poison spell. I know it's a lot of stuff to absorb of a short video, but the, the main focus for the video is for everyone to think about pulling the clan castle troops every single raid. You want to you want to plan for this every raid. That's part of your preparation. Plan on how am I going to get these clan castle troops out of their clan castle? Where am I going to pull them? A lot of people can defend very well and they'll put archer towers around the whole outside of their base to where it's very hard to put down another archer and pull those clan castle troops out and, lure, and anchor them into a safe part of the base. So you're going to have to be creative sometimes to pull those troops out, to anchor them someplace fairly safe for you, and then to kill and eliminate their clan castle troops before you start your attack. Now something else that I have not mentioned yet is remember as soon as those clan castle troops are dead you're going to begin your raid and your raid is going to begin from the place where you have those troops in to kill the clan castle troops so that's where you want to start your raid so you don't want to pull the clan castle troops off into a random corner that's away from everything that else in the in the on that base that you want to try to take care of um, remember you're going to have objectives your objectives are to kill the queen kill the king uh, trigger uh, giant bombs if you're going to use hog riders. Ch uh, take care of air defenses if you're going to use balloons. So you have all these objectives that you want to try to take care of. So be mindful of your anchor location and make sure you anchor somewhere where you can begin the rest of your raid from that's going to be 